Hey guys, what's up? Scott and Lennox here. Thanks for tuning into the channel. Um, we're going to be bringing you some more content as the fishing season gets a little bit better. We've got some dirty water back here right now, but flounder fishing here in Ocean City is picking up. Uh, and today we decided to go, and Kristen has showed me up once again and caught this beautiful 22 inch uh, fish. It's almost five pounds. It was four pounds, 11 ounces. Really, really nice fish. Caught down uh, behind Astig Island and the Orange Deadly Double, man. The Orange Deadly Double has been on fire. Uh, Joey Morowski and I uh, fishing down in Watch Creek with Captain Brian Behe and Dale Timmons. Orange was on fire down there and up here it's doing really, really well too. So what we want to do today is I want to show you the new Bubba Blade that I just got. Um, my buddy, the Swain family has uh, turned me on to this, but this is the Bubba Blade rechargeable reciprocating electrical knife. And I got this from up in Hawkers in Delaware. Bobby hooked me up with this bad boy and this thing is really great. So I want to show you the knife real quick, how I clean a flounder with it and um, give you a little bit of a review on it. So here we go. All right, so this, this knife comes in a really, really nice case. Um, I wouldn't say waterproof, but got a really good zipper on it. It's plastic on the bottom. So if you get a little smug on it, you can wipe that off. Same with the top handle for carrying. And then inside is, boom, you got the knife. You have an extra battery here. It's a 7.4 volt rechargeable, like I said at the top. Comes with four blades. These blades are really cool here. Um, you can take this completely out if you'd like to. And then I'll show you these different blades. We've got a seven inch flex. So the seven inch flex gives a little bend. We've also got the nine inch flex. All right, and you can see this is reciprocating. So these two blades actually come apart. Um, got a little sleeve there to hold it in place. And we'll put one of these in here in just a second, but there's the nine inch flex. We've also got the nine inch stiff. Looking for something with a little bit more of a backbone in it. Flounder, I'm gonna use the flex obviously because I wanna be able to bend and get that thing in there underneath the skin. And then you got a really big, nice 12 inch stiff for cleaning those larger fish. Um, today, because I've got a little bit of a sizable flounder here, I'm going to use the nine inch flex. So really, really simple ergonomic handle here, very lightweight, a couple of thumb holds here for when you're uh, actually cleaning the fish to be able to uh, have a nice hold on it. Button here to push it to get it started. And then it's just as simple as this is putting this bad boy in there. There's the nine inch flex. You're going to load that in, push until it stops. She's ready to go. Just as simple as that. And I was worried when I first got this thing, if with the separated blades, it would allow me to get into where I want to get with the flounder, right? So I want to be able to get that tip in there and come down along the meat and get it really close to the backbone uh, so I can get all the yield out of the fillets that I can. And I found that you can do that. Um, so let's, let's go ahead and clean this flounder with this Bubba Bleed rechargeable reciprocating knife. Um, just like I would any other any other flounder. So I like to start at the top on the dark side and I make a little curved cut from the backbone around to the stomach. And all you need to do is put a little bit of pressure on there and then do just like you would, squeeze the crap out of them and boom, just like that. Then I'm gonna go right down the, the uh, lateral line. And this is really simple, man. Instead of having to put all that pressure on with your hand, you literally just pull the trigger and work it down and the knife does the rest of the work for you. Go in here behind the, uh, the cut that I've made, go down along that backbone, get as close to those rib, that rib cage as I can, out here in the bottom at the other side. The whole time really all you're doing is just letting the knife do the work for you. Man, that's really nice. Really, really nice. Being able to pull that trigger and work that off of there is spectacular. And that is as good, if not better, than I could do with my regular knife. Um, really, really like that. Same thing, I'm going to the other side here just like I would a, a, a fish if I was cleaning it with a regular knife. Go right along that backbone, pull the trigger, let the knife do the work for you. Out at the bottom, boom. Lift up this fillet. I'm kind of taking my time here to show you guys, but I think you can do this much quicker once you get used to it. But not having to put a ton of pressure on this and just being able to pull that trigger 
is really, really nice. All right, there's the brown side. We'll go back over to the white side. Same thing, cut up the top of the head. Make that curved cut down toward the uh, belly. Down the lateral line. That is really, really nice. And the white side can be kind of tough, right? The white side is much thinner than the dark side is. But this is doing a great job with this. Insert it along the lateral line. Get as close as you can to the rib cage. Out at the bottom. Lift up. Let that knife work its way down. The other great thing about this is, is that sometimes you have a knife that's too sharp and you can cut through these things and lose some of the meat. This is doing a fantastic job with this fish. Got a tough angle here for you with the camera, but we'll make do, right? Side number four. A lot of guys like to clean flounder from uh, just and just do two fillets. I'm gonna cook this in four fillets. Um, so I'm, I'm just gonna clean it in four fillets as well. And this is a really cool technique I learned back when I was, you know, 20 years old, first learned how to clean flounders. Um, but that was before I knew that there was a such a thing as a bubble blade reciprocating knife. This thing is doing a fantastic job. There we go. All right. And there, there you go. You can almost see through that. That is really, really nice. Like I said, I was worried about being able to get that blade close enough to it to, uh, to get the, all the yield, but you absolutely can. And then where you would normally be shimmying this back and forth trying to get this skin off, you do the exact same thing. You're gonna go down toward the fillet and then as you pull the trigger, just pull it towards you, man. Let the knife do the work for you. Zingo Zango. Skin comes right off. Let's do this thick one and we'll leave it at that. Grab that last end or that end. Knife goes down to the skin and then just pull the trigger. Slippery. Pull the trigger and pull the meat towards you. Bingo. Man. This thing does a really, really nice job. So I would give this um, I would give this a really high recommendation. This is the Bubba Blade reciprocating rechargeable fillet knife. Um, you can get it all over the place. I got mine up at Hawkers um, in Delaware. Comes with four different blades, an extra battery with this one, and it cleans flounder really, really well. I got this because when you have a ton of sea bass or a ton of white perch or a ton of fish, it's gonna be really simple to clean this and it's gonna be way better on your arm, making you tired for cleaning a hundred fish if you happen to have them. All right, guys, thanks very much. If you like what you're seeing here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Any questions, ask those down below. Uh, as always, like our social media. It's Fishing OC on Facebook, iFishingOC on Instagram. See you next time.